Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And in today's video, I wanted to talk about the DSS technology that's been talked about for some time now in the industry and that this technology is going to be used to bring 5G to the market. Now, in the uh, quarter four earnings call, Neville Ray stated that it's going to be a tough year for the DSS technology. And Ericsson is here to defend the technology because they say it works pretty good. It's pretty solid. But right now, from a vendor standpoint, the only vendor that's ready out the gate now is Ericsson. That's the reason I think T-Mobile is trying to downplay the technology because other than the West and East Coast, a large part of the network is Nokia and Nokia is not ready with DSS. And then another carrier that said they weren't going to really utilize DSS is Sprint, but that's because they have enough spectrum to split between 5G and LTE. So, so they're kind of, you know, they're good to go. They have enough 2.5 to, to take a chunk and leave it for LTE and take another chunk and put it towards 5G that they really don't need the uh, DSS technology, the dynamic spectrum sharing. Now, again... Verizon and AT&T are going to go full steam and they're going to use this technology. You know, I in in terms of where the networks are these days and where Verizon is today and where AT&T is today, I would I would have to say I would believe them over what the other carriers are saying because they have the larger networks, they've been in the industry, they've been leading with the network cutting edge in terms of uh, deployments. So I think if they say that they're going to use that DSS technology, I would say there's some truth that this technology is going to work. If the two big, if the two big carriers are going to make use of this technology and pay and incorporate it in the network, then I would say it's a pretty decent technology. If it was that bad, I don't think they would use it. So... I just think there are, there are some issues with T-Mobile and Nokia not having this technology ready yet. They did release a statement saying they would have it ready sometime in 2020, but no idea when that will be. Um, that will also, uh, in fact, hold back Verizon a bit because Verizon does use Nokia. But Verizon has been known to very aggressively... Uh, come at these vendors and say, look, if you don't have this ready, then I'm going to rip out your uh, your panels and put in some other vendors. They've done it before in Vegas. They've ripped out the entire Nokia platform, put Ericsson. So Verizon has the money and they're aggressive enough to do so. On the other hand, T-Mobile is not really that, you know, they're not that cash friendly to really rip out an entire network platform and put in a different one. So there's a, there's a, just like I said, there's a bit confusion on that part, but Ericsson is ready. They're saying now they have, they have Swisscom, Telstra, Orido, and Play. Um, you know, they're using the DSS technology and it says here they, as of Q1, um, they're ready. They're ready with the technology. They're ready to go now. So in, in markets where Ericsson has radios up and running and they are the, the choice of vendor for the carriers be expecting to see DSS this year. Q2, Q3, potentially that's when it could be uh, turned on. And it seems it's all but a software upgrade um, from here on out. So I just wanted to share that with you guys just to get you guys a bit understanding on this, where this is going. The DSS technology is going to be big for the carriers because right now there isn't enough mid-band spectrum to go around. So they got to make use of what they got. And this is the technology uh, to get them into the 5G using the mid-band, low-band, and some high-band. If you are new to the channel, make sure you like, share, subscribe. Also, hit the notification bell so you are notified when I upload content. Also, uh, make sure to follow my Twitter. YouTube has dropped the ball. Um, this is across the whole industry. They, they aren't really pushing the notification to the, to the uh, consumers. I know some of you said you are getting them. Some people saying it's three, four days after. So I will be uploading the videos on my Twitter the minute they drop. So you guys can follow me there and, and see the videos instantaneously. And this is Tyrone with Tech Life. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.